So in this tutorial, I'm going to take us through the process of creating a realistic tail light texture for your uh, tail light for any kind of car that you have to make it look much more realistic. So basically, when I started modeling cars, uh, the, the 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 part that I find difficult texturing is the tail lights. Okay, so I basically end up just throwing in a red uh, emission to it just to you know give it the look that I wanted it to have. But uh, recently, I found this easy uh, way to texture your car to make it look I mean the tail light to make it look even more realistic so that's what I'm going to show you guys today but before we actually do anything if you have your model what you want to do is separate each of these uh, emission that is the uh, the tail light that is emitting the light you want to separate each of those objects to its own and then set the origin to the geometry all right as you can see my origin is of the geometry for each of them right here so once you have that we can go ahead and then start texturing our vehicle so I'm going to take this piece here I'm going to start with this one and I want to add in a new material and I'm going to call it tail lights all right now I want to go jump into the uh, the shader editor real quick so right here now what I'm going to do first I'm going to take this and delete it and now let's add in an emission shader all right so the first emission shader right here I'm going to duplicate that down here I'm going to add in a, a mix shader, not an R shader. So a mix shader, and I'm going to set this to the bottom and that to the top, all right? So now what I'm going to do next is to add in a gradient texture, all right? So I'm going to press Shift and A, go over to texture, and add in a gradient texture right here, all right? So I'm going to take this gradient texture, I'm going to press Control T to add in the texture coordinates to them, all right? So I'm going to set this to generated just like that. And now let's go over to the local view, all right, of this object, and let's go into material preview, so we can preview what everything looks like. All right. So if I take a look at the gradient texture, this is what we have so far. All right. So what I'm going to do is I want to change this from linear to quadratic, all right, like this, and I'm just going to rotate it in the is it the z axis? Yeah, the z axis by 11 degrees. All right. So I'm just going to type in 11, just like that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a color ramp. Alright, it should be under converter, converter color ramp, and I'm gonna set that in here. I'm gonna change this to B spline. Alright, so what we're gonna do now is to go over here. Alright, so we're gonna set the texture, that is the uh, the light for the the texture for the lights that we have going on on the object, alright? So basically we have one end of the object brightening very high, like it has the sort of bright red on it, and the towards the end or the edge of the object around this area here it's much more darker so towards the inside it's red towards the outside it's less red so what I'm gonna do is to set those values right now so I'm gonna take this I wanna set it to a red this is going to be towards the outside I wanna set it to a darker red alright so it's an emission so I'm gonna set this to 5 just like this I wanna do the same thing here except this is going to be a bright red so like this I wanna set the emission to 5 as well Alright, so what I'm going to do now is to just set this into the surface. And then I'm going to take this right here and set it into the factor. Like that. Okay, so I think we switch this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this down here to have that one be on top. Just like that. Alright, very nice. So what I'm going to do now is let's take this slider. Let's see, let's just pull it back towards this area right here. I think that should be good. Let me just take, let me see if I can move this. Alright, so let me try point 0.3. Alright, point 0.3 seems pretty good. So all we have to do now is to just move this a bit further to about there. Like that. Alright, so that is looking great. Now, we have to go back into the global view to actually see how this looks on the car. Because we have this light going through red glass. That is uh, our tail lights glass, which is red. So we basically uh, are going to lose any sort of information that is uh, white going through the red glass, which means everything is going to come out as red instead of white. So let me just press Alt and H to bring the red glass we have going on. You can see what I'm talking about here. You can see everything is looking more red than the, uh, the gradient that we added in. So let me just hide this, take this, press Alt and H to bring everything back. And let's go over in here. So let's see how we can fix this. Now, first off, let me take this and let me turn it to an even darker red. All right, so you can see that is making it look really, really good the way that I want it to. And now let's see, let's take this one and let's increase the brightness, that is the, the emission brightness to about 
20. Let's take this, let's increase it to about 10. Yeah. So you can see that is giving us giving us the effect that we want, and that is looking really good. So now all that we have to do now is to hide this piece. And now let's take one, two, three, this one last. I want to press Ctrl and L and apply the materials just like that. So you can see when you have the glass hidden, it's really uh very, very bad looking. But once you unhide the glass, it looks just the way we want it to. So yeah, that was pretty much uh, something I decided to experiment with just to see how I can create sort of something close to a realistic tail light to make it, you know, look a bit more realistic. And that was what I used in my recent render. <clears throat> if you haven't seen the render, you can check out my Instagram to find it. Just go over to my channel. You should find the link to my Instagram and you can see the recent render that I use it in. All right. So that's pretty much it. You can pretty much go ahead and tweak it, add in more uh, effects to your tail lights, like some sort of noise over this to make it to make some other places much more brighter and less brighter. You can add in more uh, stuff to this to make it look even better and more realistic. So yeah, that's pretty much the basic thing I just wanted to show you guys just to see how you can create a realistic tail light. And uh, yeah, I'll pretty much see you guys in the next video.